We are just one month away from the World Deadlift Championships. Everyone is talking about 505 and a potential new world record. We thought we'd take a look at all 13 athletes that are taking part in that contest. We are going to be looking at the weight jumps that they'll be doing in the competition, how their training is going, their PB so far, both in competition and in the gym, and based on what we've seen so far, how we think they're going to do. Let's start first then with the weight jumps. I don't think this is public knowledge yet, but it is always subject to change, isn't it? Absolutely. So. As we understand it, the deadlift is going to start at 400 kilos. Now, for a few years, deadlifts of Giants Live starting at 400 kilos, absolutely crazy. They are jumping straight from 400 to 435 kilos. From there, we go to the 1,000 pounds. Now, are we going to see more than seven guys pull 1,000 pounds this year? I believe, looking at this list of athletes, we Possible, will. Yeah. It's just an, an immense list of athletes, mm. and the standard right now is absolutely insane. From the thousand pounds, we go four hundred and seventy-five kilos. Now we only had one athlete manage this weight this year. This was the winning lift for yeah. even Makarov. Can we see a few more guys get that four seventy-five this year? And will people plan their jumps slightly differently? This is something we'll talk mm. about in a second. And obviously from the 475, the final jump is 505. But there have been athletes saying if someone does 505, especially if someone did 505 first, can they go straight to 510? Bloody how? 505 is the magic number as it stands. I mean, 501 is the record. Potentially we could go 502. Yeah, no, I think, no, I think it's good that we're just adding a few more kilos on. Because <laughs> then I, I don't have to hear, but one kilo, because <laughs> you know how much it winds me up. Lots anyway, of it. <laughs> it is it is set at 5.05. That's yes. the magic number that they're looking for. Yes. We have 13 absolutely brilliant athletes that are ready for this. First up then, Mr. Evan Singleton. He joined the £1,000 club last year. And just to be very clear, last year, the weight they pulled, it was 453.5, wasn't it? It yeah. wasn't 455. No. Because I know Giants Live have used that in previous years, haven't they? Yeah, 2019, when Rauno and Jerry Pritchett won the yes. deadlift, it was 455. Yes, which is over a thousand pounds. Slightly, it's a thousand and three. Yeah, Evan's deadlift has improved tremendously. I mean, yeah. I remember competing against Evan at 2018, North American Open, and he pulled an ugly 380. Mm. I didn't expect him to pull a thousand pounds last no. year and he shocked everyone with the improvement of his deadlift. We know how passionate he is, we know how aggressive he can be and I believe he could do a thousand pounds again. I have to say looking at his deadlift training, most recent videos, the lifts are looking hard. Yeah. They're not looking like as smooth as you'd like, but Evan is that type of athlete. He just digs deep and brings something extra on the day. Yeah, and he did say in one of his captions that looking back on his training for last year's competition, this actually looks better. So he's recently posted 400 kilos for two reps. That was just a few days ago. Um, and he also posted a 420 single two weeks ago. Yeah, so decent numbers. Yeah. I don't think Evan's going to be challenging any records. No. But I think he's going to get in his head that he... I mean, I know he's been talking about 475. I think personally, he needs to concentrate on 455. Personally, I agree. I think he needs to focus on that 455. And he could make a mistake by going maybe 435, 475. Yeah, that would be bad. This is going to be the interesting if, thing. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be many athletes that want to do every single lift. No. So being selective about what you do mm. could be a real big factor when it comes to the overall result. Next athlete on our list is last year's winner, Ivan Makarov. This man is a deadlift specialist. He did compete in the whole show last year, actually ended up in last place, but he won the deadlift, and that's what he's there for. Oh, yeah. He's not interested in anything else. This man has made it his life quest to be the deadlift world record holder. It's what he's put every bit of ounce of his energy into over the last few years. His 475 last year was very, very good. Yeah. 505 was a little too much. Yeah. Do you feel that even can come and get it this year? Obviously, I want to say yes. I, I, we would love to see it go. I feel, though, that I feel like he's at a sticking point, both 
literally and you know <laughs> theoretically yeah, like he gets to a certain point with the five. There's tremendous power off the floor. He has every single then, weight that kind of comes off the ball. Yeah. But it's by those knees where the form starts to kind of break yeah, down. The lock, it's the lockout that's um, an issue. So his best competition PB is technically 480. But to be honest, in my heart of hearts, like I look at that 480 and I think, really? Like I would say. It was say, a very generous. I do down so. from the referee in that and one. That's not Evans' fault. If no, he got the down signal, he put the weight down, they gave him the lift. That's all on the referees on the day. But his 475 was undeniably so much better Four, last The 475 year. was yeah. very, very good. He's probably had more attempts at heavy deadlifts than anyone else oh, in recent times. Absolutely. He's been going for this since 2019, late 2019, I believe. He's been... I think even was, earlier, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel he's, got, he, he's either got to go for broke... And take the jump from four, five, or a thousand pounds yeah. up to five oh five. I don't believe anyone can go a thousand pounds, four seven five, five oh five. No, no. No. Then it be, it comes down to whether they just go there for the record or yeah. they go there to win the competition. Win the competition. Even is one of the guys that has a chance. Yes. I, I personally don't think we'll see a record. I think, it, yeah, I, I agree. But if but anyone think, gets it, it yeah. he's going to be one of the guys that's, that's, you know, got that slim chance. Agreed. Now, his recent training then, so he's done 400 kilos for two reps for five sets. That he posted a week ago. And also two days ago, he posted a 4-4-5 a four, four, single. My goodness, all these numbers. <laughs> <laughs> So if you thought even Makarov was an enigma, wait till you look at Asko Karo. <laughs> now, Asko, he used to be a power lifter and he's lifted completely raw, obviously, without straps. I think it's 402.5. But we haven't seen him do a max deadlift in Strongman. We have seen him do some incredible numbers in the gym. But what do you think? Because he's not posting anything either. He's one of the athletes that's keeping quite quiet about what he's done. Mm. Now, the fact is his best competition lift is 402 and a half, which was done in powerlifting. Actually, that is a very impressive deadlift in yeah. powerlifting. Um, he's actually got the lightest deadlift in competition, though, out of all the athletes, yeah. which is very unusual in but this kind of situation one of the one biggest of the big gym lifts yes. yeah yeah so uh, one thing i'm really i'm really looking forward to seeing him i mm. hope he gets over because there's been issues the last few years um last year i think he picked up an injury a couple of weeks before back, yeah we need to see him in this yeah you know no more talking now needs to turn up seems like a really cool guy when we've spoken mm. to him online want to see him in the competition and want to see him performing so next up, an athlete that doesn't need to prove anything. Bish Bash Bosh, Adam Bishop, he has proven he is one of the best deadlifters in the sport for the last few years. There's repetitions, his max lifts, and he's done it in competition time yeah. and time again. He openly said a year ago that mm. he wants the 505. It is his main focus right now. I'm still very surprised. I was surprised, but... If he believes he can do it, you know, who knows? He's got some incredible repetition strength in him. He's learned to use a new suit that he feels really confident with. His team around him are all bigging him up. He's obviously done the thousand pound last year. Bish is another person. They're not giving us much, Lazzy. They're not giving us many training videos, but a couple of weeks ago, he did do a very nice looking 380 kilos for a single. I believe Bish is capable of 475. That's my personal belief. I think yeah. he is one of the absolute best deadlifters in the world. And if he does that, he'll cement that status again. I don't think he's going to quite get 505. He pulled a £1,000 last year. Is he going to go a £1,000 straight to 505 and just do the same? Or does he go there and, you know, win or... I feel like you kind of have to do it that way. I think it has to be the thousand pounds and then the five oh five. I don't think you can do four seven five and then five. I, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree with you. But I feel if he does that, he'll drop back. That's the yeah. you know. But it, it's a, it's a situation where it's go for broke. Mm. You know, you can't really play it safe. So our next athlete is Gabe Pena. Now Gabe is another one that hit the thousand pounds last year. He's proven he's a really great deadlifter. I don't believe he's going to get a thousand. Um, I don't believe he's going to be chasing the record again. No, no. He is very much capable of being another athlete to hit a thousand pounds, though, again this year. That's the best I can see Gabe doing, though. His recent training videos have not filled me with confidence that he's improved any extra than that. 
No, not four seven five extra. No, no. I think he needs to make sure he comes in shape, hits that thousand pounds again. Yeah. So he's pulled eight five five for a double. That was um, putting his suit back on for the first time since World's Strongest Man. It was smooth, but it was shaky. Does that make sense? It yeah, went no, up without going back down, it, but it was. It doesn't fill you with confidence that he's going to be lifting something huge. Four, seven five. Or I mean, when I say I say you know huge, we're talking. Just the standard of this competition, because yeah. <laughs> eight five five for, for a double is huge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but we, we, we get it into context. Yeah. Uh, context, and he has a new baby. These things do affect training. Yeah. I know I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> You're not getting the sleep that you want. Everything's going to feel heavier than maybe you'd like it. So I think if Gabe can come and pull a thousand pounds again, that's going to be a great lift for him. Lizzie, who's next? Next up is Pavlo Nekonechny. Now, he was obviously at Manchester last year and he pulled 453.5 at 1,000 pounds. He jumped the 475 and he went for the 505, but it did not really move, did it? He has pulled 475 in the gym before. That's his gym PB. I wonder if he'll approach things differently this time. But to be fair, if he wants the world record, I don't think he should approach things differently this time. Now, it's impossible to know how Pavlo's training is going because he is not uploading anything. He's keeping very quiet at the he moment. Is. So all we can really go is based on last year. We know he's a great deadlift. And leading up to that, he was actually posting a lot. Yeah. Lots of videos, lots of training videos. He's keeping very, very quiet, mm. um, which, you know, it, it, it gives him that air of mystique. Yeah. And we know he's a big, strong man. So I'm looking forward to seeing him back. Obviously, there was a lot of kind of controversy with him last year. He's apologized. He was, you know, he wasn't allowed to come to a few other shows. Giants Live were inviting him back. He needs to come, yeah. be on his best behavior, yeah. and show us why he should be at these shows because he is a very talented young man. And I'm looking forward to seeing him come focused and pulling something huge. So next up, 2020 World's Strongest Man, Alexei Novikov. Someone that you might sometimes consider as a weaker deadlifter, stupidly. And <laughs> then you look and think, well, he's pulled a thousand pounds. He's got the world record in the 18-inch deadlift. He pulls Axel for reps better than pretty much anyone. Mm. And the weird thing with Alexei is you watch his warm-ups and you think, Nah. He always looks horrible out back. You know, <laughs> last year, I th I've said this a few times now, watching his warm-up with 370, I was like, he's not got much more in him. No, maybe he won't get the opening weight. <laughs> and then he cranks that suit in, yeah. and he waddles out there, gets in position, and somehow he pulls a £1,000, which is truly incredible. Mm. And I expect him to do the exact same thing this time round, because... He's an athlete that wants to win competitions. And if he wants to win the overall competition, he he's going to need big points in the deadlift. And anything less than a thousand pounds could be poor points. Yeah. So Alexi, for me, plays it smart. He pulls a thousand pounds. And then he stops. He may stop or he may even try 475. But I think he'll focus on the whole competition. I think so too. And his, again, he's not posting much of his training, but he did post a 340 for eight reps. So that shows me he's focusing on the strongman classic and, yeah. you know, winning competitions. Next up, Elizabeth, I'm going to let you talk about Rauno. We don't talk about <laughs> Rauno. No, no. <laughs> so, yes, Rauno Heinler. Now, he won joint first place this deadlift championship back in 2019 when he pulled 455. Yep. So it wasn't 435.5, it was a 455. He did compete last year, but he wasn't, he, he, he torn his hamstring, torn didn't he? Hamstring. He still pulled. 425? Yeah, yeah, he did. And a few weeks ago, obviously, we were with him in Estonia, but he pulled 420 for four. Touch and go, as yeah. he would like to point out, touch and go. It was only touch and go. <laughs> But for everyone else, that's uh, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's good that he admits that it's touch and go as well. That's yeah. good that he's and acknowledging the that. Yeah. yeah, because when someone does touch and go, really, if you're looking at what they're going to do for one rep, you look at their first rep. Yes. Because usually the second rep is easier. Mm. But it's still mightily impressive. And mm. I personally believe Rauno is capable of 475. I, yeah, I, I totally I think, agree. I think he, that's what he's got in his head as well. He wants the 475. If and when that goes. And now uh, this is a number that he's pulled in the gym. That's his gym PB. He can also pull it sumo weirdly as well. Mm. Like, Rauno likes every deadlift. <laughs> but, Just chuck a deadlift at him, he's happy. Yeah. If he gets the 475, he's going to see how he feels. But 
if he gets 475, he will absolutely smash the Masters world record in the That's deadlift. Yeah. And probably going to put it out of reach of almost every other master out there for a few yeah, years Jerry to Pritchard's back training yeah yeah but we Can haven't seen Jerry at those sort of big deadlift I'm numbers looking for forward to seeing Jerry back now. there but yeah I think um if if Rauno puts that that number up <laughs> then I don't even worry about going back to training I was gonna records. say he's gonna kind of spoil it for everyone because what is it right now it's around 440 something isn't it fourth, yeah something yeah like so to add 30 kilos to a deadlift is uh pretty huge so we are looking forward to seeing our next athlete yes. we pray that he can get over payment mahenopolia this guy has been hu lifting huge numbers in the gym in russia in kind of big 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 ridiculous numbers but he just hasn't had the opportunity to come over mm -hmm. to worlds or the deadlift championships or the big strongman competitions and show what he's capable of we need him over Let's hope everything goes smoothly. Postcode lottery, classic example, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. Payment has pulled the biggest gym lift, or no, the second biggest gym lift, but mm. the biggest competition lift out of all of our athletes. That's right. He pulled 481 kilos last year. Same competition even Makarov was at. Yeah. Now, his, I feel like his lockout was better. I do as well, but yeah. still not great. No. So we know, like we hope, we know they would be held to a higher standard. So, and that could be the deciding factor. But in front of that crowd, I feel like if you're getting it into that position, your hips are going to find a way to get through. <laughs> I, I've said many times, if a referee says down, the athlete puts it down. It's on the referee to make the athlete lock yeah. out. They will lock out. They'll fight it. They'll mm. fight it and fight it and fight it. And this is... This is the thing, you know, I keep kind of questioning whether it's possible. I think it's possible for the 5 or 5 to go. I don't think any of these athletes can make it look as easy as Thor did. No. That's, no. that's in my head. When, mm. when Thor was building up to the 501 attempt, he did 440 for three and looked like he had five in him. Yeah. I've not seen any of these athletes do something like that yet. Mm. You know, Eddie, before his 500, was doing some ridiculous numbers, you know, making 450 look easy. Mm -hmm. You need to be in that kind of level to then go on and pull 500, 505 yeah. smoothly. I think you've got a few guys in here that maybe have a chance, but if they do it, it's going to be ugly. So most recently, we saw Payman doing 405 for a very easy double in the gym. Really good to see, but he's going to need more than that mm. to challenge the 505. It's going to be interesting to see how the next couple of weeks go, because really we're about a month away. The next two weeks we are going to see the biggest gym lifts from all of these athletes, yeah. and then it'll all be about recovery. But will they post them? Because people aren't posting enough for my like. <laughs> I know it's not for everyone, is it? A lot of people like to keep well, their cards close yeah, to their chest. Yeah, a lot of people are keeping it a secret, but yeah. in this day and age, most of them do tend to, to share things. Sometimes they try and play the mind games as well and yeah. mess with the other um, athletes, but yeah. Payman usually loves posting as well. So I don't think, you know, if he pulls something big, we'll know about it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Another athlete that's pulled some huge numbers mitch hooper from canada coming over to the uk for the first time it'll actually be the second time by the time this, yeah, we'll this comes around um and he's an, he's the one that's saying if someone pulls 505 can i go 510 oh is it oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and he Fair really enough. wants to give this a shot and they would i think it goes without saying they would let him oh yeah they've already said they'd let him yeah i was gonna say so, why would they say no yeah <laughs> And, you know, he pulled 4.75 um, earlier this year. He's done 4.25 most recently in training. He's got a few heavy sessions still to come. He feels more confident than he did going into his 4.75. Okay. He has tremendous power off the floor, very similar to a few of these guys, like we spoke about Even and people like that. They, they've just got tremendous power off the floor. He needs to get the lockout a bit stronger, mm. but he's one of those that just grinds out a hitch. and. Yeah. He, he's feeling confident, you know, he, he believes he's capable of doing it. And How confident are you, coach? <laughs> I, I've, <laughs> I've said, like I just said earlier, I don't, I think we're maybe still a year away from seeing people pull the, the world record, but maybe, just maybe they can kind of get it over those knees and with the crowd cheering them on, hitch the hell out of that bar and mm. somehow lock it out. That's, that's the hope. Yeah, I don't believe any of these guys will pull it as smooth as Thor did. No, or, I agree. or even as, as smooth as Eddie did. No, yeah, possibly. The, both of those 
Well, tremendous. What I do believe now is we have more talent in depth. Oh, definitely. So I, I, I think we'll see more guys pull a thousand pounds. Yeah. I think we'll see maybe a few more pull four seven five. Agree. I still don't think the five or five will go this year. So will Mitch be one that goes four five five or four five three point five <laughs> five oh five? That's what he wants to do at the moment. We will discuss yes. things closer to the time. Right now, he's still got another competition to get through first yeah, this weekend. Course. Then he can focus on that fully. So we're going to have the local boy, Gav Bilton. Yeah. He pulled 425 at last year's Deadlift World Championships. Now, I believe the 435 jump is for Gav because this will oh, be a Welsh record. Ah, okay. Already, he, he currently is the Welsh champion, yeah. uh, Welsh record holder, sorry. Um, and I, I, I think... He believes he's got a thousand pounds in him. So he wants a thousand pounds, so yep. surely he'll do both. I think it would be foolish of him to go 400, 455. Yeah. I think he needs to go for that Welsh record first, yeah. secure that, mm. and then have a crack at the thousand five. Pounds. Yeah, the thousand yeah. pounds. He is one of those, you know, he's improving all the time, looked really good at Worlds. Thousand pounds might just be out of his reach, but. I'm convinced he will pull, pull the 435. It would be a huge improvement if he gets that uh, £1,000. So his training there most recently, two days ago, he posted 380 for two reps. And then five days ago, it was 370 for three reps. And he's looking solid and he's sounding very, very he's, confident. He's looking really, really good. So, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing Gav at least smash the Welsh record yeah. and hopefully go into the £1,000 club as well. Next up, Chris van der Linde. Now, he wasn't originally in the announced lineup, but he set up his own little campaign. Let's get Chris van der Linde. He tagged us, we shared it, yeah. quite a few people shared it, and it worked. The people spoke, Giants Live listened. He pulled a thousand pounds in competition. He, needs he deserves to, to be there. Yes, we need Africa's biggest deadlifter at this show, and we are going to get him. So yeah, He's looking forward to coming over. He's training hard. And again, another athlete on the day. How many guys potentially could we see pull a thousand pounds? I don't think Chris is going to go and break the world record, no. but he is another athlete that could well go and hit that thousand pounds in a competition where we might see eight, nine, ten, eleven guys pull a thousand pounds. This is mental. That's it's, it's crazy to say it out loud. I mean, before last year's competition, I never would have thought or said anything like that. Never. No. <laughs> but. After seeing what happened last year, who knows? Now, looking at Chris's training, he most recently, a couple of days ago, posted a video of a 420 single. We know he's very excited about this. And it's a huge really opportunity so. for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad he's coming. Yeah, he deserves it. Look forward to seeing how he can do. And then finally, we have yes. Graham Hicks. Now, I am super excited to see Hicksy get this opportunity. Me too. This is one of the more interesting ones, I feel, because... When was the last time, I mean, I can tell you actually, 2014 is the last time Graham Hicks did a standard bar deadlift um, PB or... In a strongman competition. Yeah, max He's deadlift, yeah. He, his strongman max deadlift is less than his powerlifting max deadlift. But that just goes to show how long it's been as well and how much stronger he is since then. So Hicksy's best competition lift, and this is in powerlifting, is 405 kilos. His best in strongman is 400. Mm. We witnessed him pull a lot more than that on an axle. Yeah, for reps. <laughs> for reps. <laughs> for reps. <laughs> Pixie, in my opinion, is someone that's capable of 475. Agreed. I think he will be happy to get 455, but honestly, I think, he I think, I think he's got a shot at yeah. the 475. Again, I don't think the 505 is there, but... 475 would be monstrous and I honestly believe Hicksy is one of the strongest humans on the planet. I'd love to see him smash that. So looking at his training then, two weeks ago he posted 400 kilos for three reps. That's the standard bar. He's talking about doing 420 for three this week. May already be up by the time this video has um, hit your TV screens. So up on your screen right now then, this is the list of athletes in the order of their competition PBs. So we have 10 athletes there on this list that have pulled a thousand pounds. I'm convinced Hicksy goes over a thousand pounds. Absolutely. And if Asku backs up what he's put in the gym, he goes over a thousand pounds. Yeah. And Gav has a shot. Yeah. You know, Gav genuinely has a shot. So we could see every single athlete pull a thousand pounds if that happens that will just be the most insane thing i think i've ever that seen that for me would be more impressive than even seeing the 505 i think so too the 
I remember how sort of impressed you were several years ago. We had every athlete could pull 400 kilos. Like, you know, it's a big jump from 400 kilos. Well, I, I was lucky enough to be in that type of competition yeah. where suddenly every single strong man could pull 400. If we're at a competition where everyone pulls a thousand pounds, people are going to blow their lids. <laughs> and, you know, whether the, the max deadlift goes or not, that will be totally mental. And it kind of scares me and excites me at the same time to think where is the deadlift going to get yeah. to in the next 10 years? Do you guys think we will see a world record? Do you think we'll see 13 athletes pull a thousand pounds? Even if we don't see 13, if we can beat seven, which is yeah. the record so far, that would be incredible. I think we could definitely see 10. Tickets are still available for the show. It's going to be in Cardiff on Saturday, the 6th of August. If you cannot make it in person, you can watch it online on Facebook. Link will be in the description below, along with a link to Official Strongman, where you can also sign up and watch it. We will be there, won't we? I can't wait for this one. It's going to be so good. And obviously, make sure you are subscribed to this channel because we're going to be bringing you lots of behind the scenes action. Yeah, follow all the athletes as well if you want to check out what their lifts are going to be over the next two weeks. Like I said, the next two weeks they are the most important in terms of the heaviest numbers yeah. also the most risky in terms of maybe risking injury as well so let's hope nothing happens like that no. let's hope we get all 13 athletes over to Cardiff can we see a world record let us know in the comments below guys and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel <laughs>